this slide is, is legal disclaimer side. I'm gonna, that's mostly for the specs and somehow it always falls into the kind of more marketing uh, overview presentations. But MIPI Alliance is really focused on mobile interfaces to the application processor and other uh, interfaces into the mobile phone. I'll show you a, a bit of a, a chart that we have that ex explains the interfaces and also looks at maybe those areas that are of common interest between the AR community and the mobile device community. It is global as a, all the standards organizations here. Um, and we, we do drive hardware interface uh, technology through specifications. And I focus on the hardware. MIPI also, if you look at our website, you will see a software component to it. Um, but it really has been a kind of a lightweight software. I think this is an area where we've seen interest growing in how do we support the interface specifications with software and talking possibly with Kronos Group and others who have an interest in uh, really doing some work in that area that may benefit both organizations. It is focused on mobile. That's, we've had such a razor sharp focus on mobile. But as you can imagine, a lot of the interfaces are showing up beyond mobile. And we have an interesting uh, intellectual property uh, arrangement where it's royalty free if implemented in the mobile device and reasonable non-discriminatory outside of the mobile device. And so um, they can be used in a number of different places. People making arguments today that a car is a mobile device as well. Um, I had people, you know, 10 years ago when MIPI first started, holding up their PC and said, this is a mobile device, and it, and it certainly is. Um, so there's a lot of interesting uh, applications of MIPI that are out there in the marketplace today that uh, even sometimes we're not aware of. Um, but I'll, I'll try to talk about a few. So sometimes people refer to MIPI as, well, I want MIPI. Well, well MIPI's really, a, a, and you'll see it on the chart, it's a set of interface uh, specifications. Many of the specifications uh, using camera or display, companies may implement only one of the in particular interfaces that are important to them. Uh, so it's not that you have to implement all of the interface specifications in order to implement it. Um, it is widely adopted. You'll see the list of companies. We can't fit it all on one chart. Um, but you can go out to the website. Uh, some interesting names out there that you know have been sort of talked about earlier today. Um, and we do <coughs> clearly have you know the industry leaders, and, and we look for other participation as well uh, from companies uh, who may not typically operate in the mobile space, and we're starting to see that uh, there are <coughs> auto companies, uh, Tesla just you know, indicated interest in joining MIPI. And trying to understand why Tesla is interested in joining MIPI is, is an interesting dialogue. And so we're, we're looking at things like that. Uh, this is the list of contributor members. We just, to, I haven't really done an org chart for MIPI here, but uh, we have the board, we have contributor members, our promoter member, contributor, and then adopters. The contributor level members are really the members who are actively participating uh, in the development of the interface specifications. The adopter level, and we have 240 plus members continuing to grow every year. Um, the adopter level really uh, are implementers and, and receive the specs as they're published. Um, we do get comments from time to time and often they're well connected so they know what's happening in the working groups, but they don't feel the need or are unable to really devote the resources necessary to develop. So you'll see some of the, the names up there. You'll see the Apple logo, uh, NVIDIA, uh, a number of other uh, companies I'm just looking through here. Uh, in any event, you can look at our website for the, for the member list. This is our history. It was really founded by ARM, Nokia, ST, and TI. And if you think about the mobile industry 10 years ago, it's very, just incredibly different than it is today. 
And it's, it's been interesting thinking back at those early days of MIPI Alliance and trying, if you think about where mobile technology was 10 years ago and evolving, and, and MIPI has really kind of kept pace. And that's, that's where our focus is, is evolving the specifications moving forward. And I'll talk about a couple of areas that are new. Uh, we talked about sensors earlier. Uh, that's a common area of interest, which is uh, involves a lot of technology and business politics associated with that. But I, I, we see movement in, in that area as well. Um, Toshiba is a board member. Uh, they're a promoter member, and that's the first implementation of a promoter member that has been moved up to the board, and we look forward to continuing to do that as well. Some of the specs that we're talking about are display, camera, audio, and physical layer and protocol stack. And I'll go into a little bit of detail. Uh, just to give you a flavor, I think uh, it may pique your interest to, to look a little bit deeper. This is a chart that, if you can imagine in standards groups, it, it this took a long time to get to this visual representation. But I, if you can read it, it's in the slide deck. It's also on our website. But this really describes MIPI architecture system diagram in a nutshell. And so we talk about display. Uh, camera is, is a very widely implemented uh, technology, and not just in mobile uh, devices. We have camera companies joining. We have a number of other uh, surgical uh, cameras as well using MIPI interfaces. So you can see that you know, the mobile is driving it, but other companies are, are joining. Um, storage and battery and looking at the RF and, and tuners and switching. Speakers and microphone, there's a, a good amount of work, and, and that in particular is Slimbus, but also looking at a, another technology uh, that's been uh, introduced by RIM, but is being contributed into MIPI for further development. The RIM commercial name, whether or not it remains that name, is called Soundwire, and we're looking to implement that into future uh, applications. It's really a, a complement to Slimbus and gives some people different options in that area. You won't find sensor on this, and I'll talk a little bit about it, but um, sensor is an upcoming activity that's really kind of in an investigation phase, and it's been in that phase for maybe six months uh, to a year. Um, last year we were at Mobile World Congress and talking with the sensor companies, and there really wasn't a lot of interest from the sensor companies to really look at a common uh, bus architect or a common control interface to the sensors to the application processor. The discussions have definitely evolved to the point where I think the sensor manufacturers, sensor vendors realize that in order to scale, the number of sensors that are going into the phones and the tablets is incredibly large and just doesn't scale. And you talked about sensor fusion, a number of other technologies. So looking at how the application processor can actually control and interface with those sensors is incredibly important. So I'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, these are liaisons. I liked your liaison slide with, with the components. I may give you some credit for that in the future. But um, it, it is, when you're talking organization to organization, um, I like the openness of you know, and you can do that here in our bodies, it's, it's often very difficult, especially with the intellectual property and uh, rights associated with that. We have, these are very, these are active liaisons, um, and in particular, PCI SIG, JEDEC, and USB are all leveraging MIPI's physical layer interface. So, in, we just had an announcement on Wednesday about mobile PCIe, so looking at PCI Express and bringing that down toward mobile and mobile up toward computers. Uh, USB in terms of super speed USB SSIC. Uh, they are leveraging MIPI's physical layer as well. And uh, JEDEC as well for UFS. So what we're seeing is that a number of technologies are implementing MIPI's physical layer. And so we have a good relationship. This is a real working relationship where MIPI continues developing the physical layer, M5, and the other uh, organizations are retaining and developing their, their own uh, 
particular specification. VISA, uh, VESA is another uh, organization very uh, focused on uh, DisplayPort is one of the main uh, specifications and looking at uh, compression technologies. And so MIPI has an interest in that area as well. Um, but we're, right now we're submitting requirements to, to VESA. Um, also looking at MEMS industry group. So this is one where MEMS industry group doesn't develop standards at all, but they have the sensor and MEMS community. If, if you're talking about sensors, you, you're there. And so um, we've worked with them to engage their community. Uh, some of our members are members of, of uh, MIG, they call themselves. And so we've had a very productive relationship. So we are open to partnering, and this is something that is relatively new in you know, the past three or four years that we've been focused on looking at external organizations. And I think software is another interesting area where I think there could be some collaboration out there uh, as well. I talked about the IPR. Um, you know, it's, it's very similar to other organizations. The mobile device was incredibly important for MIPI, so maintaining royalty-free in that device and then looking at external to the device, uh, how that's implemented. So we really maintain kind of a standard uh, IPR policy for outside of the device. Um, and this has worked reasonably well. I think there's, to be honest, I think there's some confusion. And we're working on that in terms of, uh, even within some of our member companies, they talk about, well, maybe can't be implemented outside the mobile device. And that's not the case. And so we need to do a little bit more uh, education on and kind of demonstrate the uses of MIPI and, and how it's actually being used outside of mobile as well. I think for AR purposes and interests, I focus on three areas, um, or four, including sensors, which is new. Uh, the camera interface, the display interface, low power audio specifications like I mentioned before. And I'll go into a little bit in the sensor. I'll go into a little bit of detail. Um, you, some of the individuals in the room could probably go a little bit deeper on this than, than I can, but I just want to sort of whet your appetite and for, to look a little bit further. Um, CSI and DSI are w widely implemented uh, in uh, mobile devices and, and beyond, we're seeing. So again, CSI looks at the camera and bridges the devices with the application host processor. Um, it's a high bandwidth uh, capability with reduced number of pins um, into the, the processor. And it's based on MFI. So you can see that MFI is kind of a, our foundational uh, specification. And so that sits on top of and, and resides on a high speed physical layer interface. So I would, I would look at this area, especially if you're developing uh, different implementations for camera sensors or cameras, and uh, it might be an area of interest for you. So display is another uh, area. Again, um, there's information on the public site if you do sort of find that there's a limited set of information and you're really interested, I can connect you with some of the display uh, focused individuals and, and I'm sure they'd be happy to answer questions. We have a bit of, you know, like some of the other organizations where by some of the specifications are openly available. MIPI specifications sit behind a, a username and password. Um, so it's really only open to members. Low power audio is an interesting one as well. Um, Slimbus has been um, reasonably successful. I think others are looking at um, different ways to provide uh, digital audio and uh, high quality audio and speakers and microphones in a low power uh, way. And so we have Slimbus and we're kicking off an activity that's focused on uh, SoundWire. Um, and so again, that's being developed. Within MIPI, we anticipate that you know, over this next six to nine months, we'll, we'll continue to evolve that. But the Slimbus working group is really taking that on and, and further developing. I talked about sensor um, before. 
this is one of the areas where we saw the need. We had sense. Certainly, we have sensor uh, manufacturers, ST and others. We we have major sensor uh, providers, but there's a whole community of other uh, sensor companies that just don't participate in MIPI. So we put together what we call the birds of a feather. We kind of have a staging of uh, development. So you can establish an investigation group to look at an area. That investigation group may or may not result in, a, in an established working group. So this is even prior to an investigation group. They're really going to come out with a, a white paper of what could uh, a sensor interface look like or what should it look like. And then MIPI needs to make a decision on whether or not it would progress or proceed with that. Um, without talking out of school, I anticipate there is momentum that's building for this. And certainly the discussions that I had here last year at Mobile World Congress are very different than the discussions we had this year. And I think the sensor companies are realizing that they need to do something here. Otherwise, it's just not going to scale in the way that they, they want to see it. So this is uh, you know, another, and there could be other areas where we establish a birds of a feather, just an open dialogue to look at maybe AR's uh, interests or requirements for um, MIPI spec specifications or input into that, or use this as a forum to do that. So there's different ways that we can establish to try to bring in input into the community. Uh, and again, we're we're very focused on mobile. Everybody was getting excited about all these other applications, and somebody during you know, late in the day of, of this planning meeting reminded everybody that mobile's by no means complete, and it's not done yet. So let's retain the focus on mobile and continue to meet our members' needs to leverage the investments that they've made in MIPI to go into these other areas, and that that's really where we're focused. Um, and again, if, if the AR community is interested, I think you've had a good uh, voice um, and has, has gotten us here after some period of time. And I, I'm appreciative that we were able to, to come. But make your voices heard. If, if you see interest or the opportunity to utilize MIPI in, in some of your work, uh, make your voices heard. We, we do listen. So thank you.